Oh, praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to Abiding Faith Christian Center's Saturday afternoon prayer. Amen. How you doing this morning, Miss Past, uh, Pastor Hamer? I want to say Miss Hamer. Yes. <laughs> but I, was, I am right when I say Miss Hamer, praise Miss, God. Mrs. Mrs. Hamer. Amen. Praise God. I remember Mrs. because she is married to me. Uh, well, anyway, welcome everyone to Abiding Faith Christian Center Noon Prayer. Uh, we're about ready to get started to go to the throne of God. You know, Hebrews, the fourth chapter says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we might receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And so we can always go to the throne of grace boldly because he has made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. And so we are righteous, and therefore we can approach the throne of grace without sin, condemnation, uh, inferiority, a yes. complex, or anything like that. We can come boldly to the throne of grace <clears throat> because of our relationship that we have with God, mm -hmm. that we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen? Amen? And therefore, God hears our prayers based upon what Jesus Christ has done for us, the blood of Jesus, which has cleansed us and made us and washed us as, as clean as white as snow. Praise the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. Well, again, here again, I'm Pastor Rodney Hamer. I see there are members of signing on. Hello, Sister Angie. We see you out there. Praise the Lord. And um, I think Brother Ray is out there. And I don't know who else is tuning out there. And, she says she can barely hear uh, You can barely hear us? Uh, all right. Can you hear us now? How much can you? You can't hear us that much? Let me pull this tablet a little closer to us and get the microphone a little closer to us all right can you hear us better now give us a reply anybody else that's out there let us know that you can hear us amen, amen. we know that god hears us amen he can hear us anytime we pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want them to hear us now. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's just humor there. All right. All right. Can you hear us now? Give me a reply. Can you hear us? Hello. Unless your speaker's she, yeah, off. She got it. You got it? How is it coming real loud and clear? Okay, someone give me give me a response out there. Are we coming in loud and clear right now? She said hi. Uh, and I said, do are we coming in loud and clear? Give me a yes or no. Uh, yes, okay, I think I see a yes out there. Okay, yes, I can. Good. All right. So, again, uh, Abiding Faith Christian Center's noon prayer. Uh, man, I'm telling you, uh, there's, there's things that have just been rolling around in my heart uh, for quite a while. Um, when I tell you it's quite a while, you, I just can, can't explain how much passion that I'm really saying that in what I feel like in my spirit. But anyway, uh, we want to teach a little bit before we go into prayer as we normally do at Abiding Faith Christian Center. We share scriptures and then we go straight to prayer. And um, our foundation uh, um, quote that we make before we start a noon prayer is that knowing God's will, uh, it is necessary to know God's will to get answers prayer. Amen. But because knowing the will of God beforehand uh, is the key to answer prayer and that's according to 1 John 5 14 and 15 which John the Apostle writes and says and this is the confidence we have in God that if we ask him anything according to his will which when you ask according to God's will it's asking according to his word right. because God's word is his will mm -hmm. uh, you can never ask God's will unless you know his word mm -hmm. because his word reveals to us his will Amen. That's why it says in the book of, of 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17, that all the scriptures in the Bible are inspired by the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. and they're profitable unto all things. Uh, they're profitable unto doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instructions in righteousness, that the man or the woman of God may be truly furnished unto every good work. So that's why the Bible was given, so that we can know what the will of God is. Mm -hmm. So... Let's look at some scriptures so we can know that we're praying effectively, that we're praying, uh, making dynamic power available. We're having impact on this natural world because we're petitioning the God of all creation. Mm -hmm. In the book of Luke, the 12th chapter, if you turn, me, turn with me in your Bibles there, uh, you find the apostle Luke writes and he says this. He says, fear not, little flock. 
For it is your father's, it is your father's, God is your father, God is my father, he's our heavenly father, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Now in the kingdom, there's everything that pertains to life and godliness, you know this already, but I'm maybe just steering up your pure hearts and minds to remembrance, and that's a good thing. God wants all things that pertains to life and godliness to be in possession of the believer here on the earth, on his children on the earth. Because notice he says, he says, your father, fear not little flock, for your father, your father's good pleasure. It is your father's good pleasure. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's the will of God for you to be healed. It's the will of God for your needs to be met. It's the will of God for you to walk in uh, uh, wisdom, to walk in divine uh, prosperity, to walk in health, uh, to have a harmonious marriage, family, lifestyle, to live at peace in your home, in your yes. community, in your country. Oh yes, in the world, because the Bible tells us in the instructions in the Bible, he says, I exhort therefore that first of all that supplications and prayers and giving of thanks be given to all men for kings and for all those that are in authority, yes. that we, the believer, might live a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness or godlikeness. Now you remember that's over in the book of, of Timothy. In fact, let's turn there because the Spirit of God evidently wants us to look at that with our eyes. So we're going to turn over there in the book of Timothy. Timothus, praise God, and it says here in 1 Timothy chapter 2, looking at verse number 1, now remember, it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, everything that pertains to the kingdom, but listen, everything to the kingdom is access, access by faith. And faith is hearing, believing, and acting on the Word of God. Amen. You can never receive from God apart from faith. Right. Now remember Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He's a reward of those that diligently seek Him. Now the word diligent means to put forth some effort. Mm -hmm. So you may have to wake up. A little early, an hour earlier before your day starts so that you can get, go to prayer and get into your word and read your Bible and right. spend a little time of meditating upon what you've read or something that jumps out at you because you are filling yourself with the knowledge of his will right. so that anytime you pray, you know that your prayers are being answered. Mm -hmm. Now here in the book of, 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 of 1 Timothy, the second chapter, God wants us to live a full life, a, a abundant life here on the earth, in our homes, in our community, in our cities, in our country, and as Christians are all over the world because we are the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not just limited to uh, Flint, Michigan, or Flushing, or Burton, or, or Mich Michigan, or the United States. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ exists throughout the whole world. Yes. So this is a worldly perspective that God wants us to have mm -hmm. concerning his will right. for the church of the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. And he says, I exhort therefore that first of all the supplications, uh, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Mm -hmm. And then he tells us who, men, who the men are mm -hmm. that we're supposed to pray for. Right. He says for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness mm -hmm. and honesty. Now listen, verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God the Father. God our Father. Right. God in the sight of God our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Mm -hmm. Who will, oh there's the will of God. Mm -hmm. Here we're finding out this is the will of God, who right. will have all men mm -hmm. to be saved. And not only does he want us to be saved, not only does he want men to be saved, but he says, and to come into the knowledge of the truth. Yes. So God wants us to come into the knowledge of the truth. Why? Because he wants us to give us, he wants us to possess everything mm -hmm. that pertains to life <laughs> and godliness. Yes. And the way we possess it is through the knowledge of the truth, knowing what the will of God. So that we, can, we when we pray, God hears and answers our prayer. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to look at, I want you to go to Matthew, the seventh chapter, 
and we're going to look at verses 7 to 11, but go to Matthew, the seventh chapter. I was reading this morning in the book of Deuteronomy, the Old Testament, uh, as I spend my time reading in the morning, I read scriptures because I'm, 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 I'm reading through the whole Bible. I'm just, just reading, going through for my edification, for my feeding upon the word. Mm -hmm. And I, I noticed that when God was talking to Moses, he told Moses before Moses uh, uh, died, uh, uh, he told Moses he was not going to go into the promised land, but he, he told Moses to get Aaron and bring Aaron into the temple. <clears throat> and him and Aaron went into the temple, and the glory of God filled the temple, and was just Moses and Aaron, and, and, and Joshua, excuse me, not Aaron, but Joshua. And God began to speak to Moses and says, I want you to write this song for the children of Israel, because I know their heart, that they're not going to keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. That after they become filled with the blessings, after they become filled, and the promises of God come to pass in their life when they go over and possess the promised land, they're going to become fat, they're going to become prosperous, and they're going to forget me, mm -hmm. and they're going to turn to idols, they're going to turn to false gods, mm -hmm. and he says as a result, he says, I'm going to cause them to be scattered throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I said, now, God, if you knew this, why did you tell Moses to write this in a song so that they would have it back when it, when it happened to them? Well, see, the children of Israel were not born again. They did not have the nature of God on the inside of them as we do. So they had a propensity for sin. However, God wanted them to know, say, listen, I know the future better than you know the past. And see, God knows the future. Yes. Yes. He knows the future of what's mm -hmm. going to transpire upon the earth. So everything that's happening on the earth now did not catch God unaware. He wasn't caught short. He yes. wasn't caught, yes. like we say the old plan, with his pants down. He knew what was, what was going to happen in the United States of America. Yes. He knew that the coronavirus was going to come into existence. Mm -hmm. He knew uh, that the, politi the political arena of our, our nation was just going to go awry, awry and all type of all type of un, uh, illegal things are going to be taking place and just all kind of strife, riots, and everything else that's going to take place. Yes. Now, when you look at the world and you listen to the wisdom of the world, you'll think, well, things are going the right way. We need these things to happen because, and you got all these worldly-minded excuses as Christians. I'm talking to Christians. I'm not talking to sinners. You see, you need to have a kingdom of God perspective about what goes on upon this earth. Mm -hmm. God intends for all men to be saved mm -hmm. and to come into the knowledge of the truth. Right. And so you can't play according to the will of God without knowing that knowledge. You'll be praying for God to smite them, smite that such and such a person and stuff because they are wicked and everything. And you calling folks all type of things out of your mouth because you don't even know the whole picture like God does. That's why he says, let not corrupt communication proceed That's out of right. your mouth. That's but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto those that hear you when you talk. Anyway, the Spirit of God inspired me to speak like I'm speaking. I'm so thankful for him. Now, in the book, book of... Uh, in the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, I did tell you to turn there, didn't I? Yeah, yes, seven. I think. Matthew, the seventh chapter, and I said we're going to start at verse number what? Seven. I said we're going to go from seven, seven to eleven. Oh, that was a number you used to call when you used to shoot dice. We used to shoot dice out there in the streets of Los Angeles, California and stuff when I was growing up. I didn't shoot dice. I used to hang around and I watched the fellas. Near Seven Eleven, you know. <laughs> Woo! Say, like, Pastor, you getting in the flesh, huh? Oh, I'm just being carnal minded a little there. Make a little humor. All right, Matthew the seventh chapter. Um, Matthew's, Matthew's, Matthew's the seventh chapter and verse number seven. Jesus speaking to the apostles when he was on the earth, as well as the other disciples that were with him, because it wasn't, was not just the 12 apostles that followed Jesus around. There were many people, there were multitudes of people that was uh, 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 a part of his entourage. There were even women who followed him, and they, they, they gave up their substance. They did things and helped Jesus, cooking food and all type of stuff. It doesn't talk about it a lot in the Bible, but there were men, women who, who followed Jesus as well as the apostles and stuff. Mm -hmm. So here, Jesus is speaking to all of them as well as speaking to us mm -hmm. because that's why the scriptures were inspired so that we would know the will of God. Right. He says in Matthew 7, 7, ask, ask. Ask is a necessity, an absolute necessity in order for you to get the things that's going to proceed the word ask in verse number seven which is the words that's coming out of the Lord Jesus Christ's mouth mm -hmm. he says ask and it shall 
He didn't say ask and it might. He says ask and it shall. It shall what? Be given. He said seek and you will find. He said knock and it shall be opened unto you. Then he says and he reiterates in verse number 8 so that you will not mistake it, mistaken it at all. That you would know for surety that what he said is what he meant and what he meant is what he said and what he said was according to the will of God. So he's revealing to us the will of God concerning prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Mm -hmm. He's revealing the will of God concerning prayer. He said in verse 8, for everyone that asketh receives. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus said that. He says, everyone that asketh receives, mm -hmm. and he that seeks finds, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Yes. Or what man is there of you, whom if he ask bread, will he give him a stone? Mm -hmm. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall... How much more shall, how much more shall, how much more, how much more, how much more than you with your natural human love for your children, for your family, for your nieces and nephews and sisters and brothers, how much more shall your father, oh there it is again, it's revealing the father, a father's love for his children. God is our heavenly father. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Doesn't that make you feel so warm oh, and, yes. and cuddly inside? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, it, it makes you feel bold inside. If you don't want to be cuddly, okay, it makes us feel bold. It makes me feel bold inside to know that God is my father. And I make no apologies for it. He is my father. He's not just God to me. He is my father. Yeah. You know, I tell sinners that many Except times. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I, I'm not religious. No, God is my father. I have a relationship, not religion. And I say, that's what I say out of my mouth. If I talk to somebody that act approaches me and say, well, I understand you're very religious. You know, I want to say, I'm, well, I understand you're very ignorant too, but I don't say that because it's not right. But it's true. They are ignorant. They are ignorant of the truth. But we have the truth. We have it in the Word. The Word says that God is our Heavenly Father. Yes. He said, Fear not, little flock, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you everything that pertains to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But you'll never receive what's in the kingdom until you come to your daddy and you ask him. Mm -hmm. Ask. You have to ask. And of course, you've got to ask according to his will. And his will is revealed to us in the Bible. Now, if you're lazy, if you're just lazy and you're just so stubborn and you're just so full of pride and you just want to do things your way and say, because I ain't following nobody and, you know, I just don't agree with, you know, that's what you call a person that's a, her a heretic, a heretic person, mm -hmm. a heretic, heretic person, a heretic, a heretic person, which is a heretic, mm -hmm. they are the person that they... They don't agree with anybody. They don't agree with earthly authority. And if you're not going to agree with earthly authority, how are you going to agree with heavenly authority, which is God the Father, who's a spirit, who you cannot see, but yet he's real. He's alive. So you have Christians in the church in the way. Unfortunately, they're born again, but they're heretics. Anyway, <laughs> listen, listen. God wants your need to be met. Now look what it says right here. In verse, what verse was I in? Can somebody tell me what verse I was in? Huh? Oh yeah, right. I'm in verse number 10. I'm in verse number 11. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven, listen, give good things to them that ask him. God is about giving you that which is good. God is about giving you that which is good. Healing is good. Prosperity is good. Peace of mind is good. Mm -hmm. A harmonious marriage is good. Good relationships of family yes. members. Good relationships is good. Mm -hmm. Living a peaceful life in all godliness is good. good. Everything that pertains to life and godliness it's is good. good. <laughs> God doesn't ever want... I mean, even in the midst of turmoil, you can have 
a godliness and peace and, and peace and and and, and tranquility. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If you're going through a test and trial, if you're going through persecution, mm -hmm. guess what? The grace of God is there to enable you to endure, and you can do it with joy. Right. You will count it all joy in the midst of the test and trial. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it has to do with godliness, mm -hmm. the God kind of life. The strength of God, the love of God, the joy of God, the grace of God available for you. So when you're going through the tests and trials, you can count it all joy in the midst of it. They'll look at you like you don't have any sense. They'll say something wrong with him and her. They, they got all this trouble and all these things that's come upon them. But yet they have a smile and they're rejoicing and they're praising God. And they're, and they're going under. They say they see you going under, but you're not going under. You're going through and you're going over and you're over coming by the blood of the lamb and the words of your testimony because you know your God mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. Woo, praise God you, how Jesus. much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things unto the masculine mm -hmm. see when you need strength you say father strengthen me when your loved one needs strength how do you pray for them you know they're going through and they seem perplexed and you seem distressed, and you seem like their faith has, has right. gotten weak, like, like Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon Peter, Satan has desired to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. Well, you can pray for your sister, your wife, your, your, your husband, when it seems that their faith has grown, grown weak. You say, Father, strengthen them with all might by your spirit. Quicken them according to thy word. Fill them with joy and peace and believing, so that they might abound in hope by the power of the Spirit of God that dwells on the inside of them. See, I'm praying according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. You say, Pastor, where you find it at? Well, let's open the book of Romans, and I'm going to turn there real quick just so I can show you. See, what I'm doing, I'm teaching you about how to pray according to the will of God so that your prayers can always, I said always, I said always, be answered by God. Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, now, 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 Holy Spirit, in verse in chapter, chapter 15, Romans chapter 15, I'm going to show you that verse of scripture that I just quoted off in giving you an illustration of prayer, which I do pray. I pray that for my loved ones. I pray that for my family. I sure do. And it says in Romans the 15th chapter and verse number 13. Somebody said, what verse, Pastor? Verse number 13. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, you there? Good. He says, now the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope, that is confident expectation, listen, through the power of the Holy Ghost. Woo, praise God. That's a prayer. Yeah, Paul wrote it in the scriptures to the book of Romans. But remember, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instructions on how to pray according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. And Paul says, right here, he says, now the God of all hope. Now he was writing to the Roman believers, but it's a prayer that he had prayed for them. And he's letting them know that I'm praying, I'm believing God, that the God of all hope, the God of hope, fill you with all joy in peace and believing. There are believers that have no joy, they have no peace, and they're believing. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like the man with the lunatic son that brought it to the apostles, and they did not cast him out because of their unbelief. And he came to Jesus and said, if thou can do us anything, have mercy on me. Yeah. Have mercy on us. Jesus says, if thou canst believe, all things are possible with them that believe. And he turned around and said to Jesus, he said, Lord, I believe, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus just took the son, the son aside and cast out the spirit. Now what he was doing was he was helping his unbelief. He understood that he had an issue. Now in another part of the scripture, this is in Mark, uh, the chapter and book of Mark, of uh, the ninth chapter where you read this. But over in chapter Mark, the sixth chapter, mm -hmm. it talks about when he went to his own, his own hometown and he couldn't do no mighty work, save he healed a few sick folks, and he marveled. He was amazed at their unbelief. Mm -hmm. And the cure for their unbelief is what he demonstrated by going about all the villages and teaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. Paul said, he says, and now the God of hope, the God of hope, 
the God of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing. There is a joy and peace in believing that sometimes believers need because they're not there. They think there are, but you can tell by the words that they say out of their mouth that they don't have any joy and they don't have that peace in their heart about believing. When it comes to believing God for something that they need to receive for their physical body. So you pray, Father, I pray that you would fill my wife, fill my husband, fill my daughter, fill my son, uh, fill brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so with all joy and peace and believing. And Father calls them to abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit that resides inside of them. Right. <clears throat> that hope means a confident expectation of the fulfillment of the promise of God. You know, the Bible says, cast not away there your confidence. Uh, when those, uh, what's another scripture about where the word hope is in there? And hope maketh not a shame for the love of God. The confident expectation of the fulfillment of God's promises make us not a shame. That's over in the book of Romans somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans, the Six, fifth, 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 fifth chapter, somewhere. I think it is. Oh, glory to God. I'm just, I'm just so excited about prayer. And I know that you are too. Uh, tribulations work at patience and patience experience. In Romans, the fifth chapter, it says here, it said, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith to the throne of grace, into this grace, that is the throne of grace, where we stand, we stand before God, we're on the right hand throne of God, right? Because we raised up together with Christ and made to sit together in heavenly places, and Christ is seated, is seated at the right hand throne of God. And that's where you are. You, you are seated there in Christ on the right hand throne of the Father. And he says, and where we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. That is, rejoice in the confident expectation of the glory of God. The glory of God is the power of God. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 said, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations. We rejoice in tribulations also, tests and trials. Mm -hmm. Why? Knowing that tribulations, tests and trials, work at patience. Mm -hmm. Patience means mm -hmm. to be steadfast mm -hmm. despite the oppositions, the difficulty, or the adversities. Mm -hmm. And then he says, and patience, that is, to be steadfast despite the oppositions, the difficulty, and adversities that you're going through. Mm -hmm. We bring about, it brings about experiences. Experience. And experience is something that you have acquired That's through right. you being steadfast despite the oppositions, the difficulties, adversities that face you right now. Yes. Hold fast yes. the confession of your faith. Mm -hmm. Un in all things by prayer, come boldly to the throne of grace, mm -hmm. asking according to his will, because when we do, we know that he hears us. Right. So you have to do these things. And then it says that experience hope. That word hope is a confident expectation of the fulfillment of the promise of God. Experience hope and hope, confident expectation, make it not a shame because the love that you, the love of God that you have for God is shed abroad in your hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto you. See your relationship, your love, your confidence, your trust. That, that, that quiet assurance in your spirit, right. that feeling with all joy and peace. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes that yes. you be filled with all joy and peace. Mm -hmm. That's hope, mm -hmm. confident expectation. God is faithful mm -hmm. who promised. He yes, watches Lord. over his word to perform it. Yes, he, he says, does. ask and it shall be given. Yes. He said, seek and you shall find. Mm -hmm. He said, knock and it shall be op open unto you. Yes. See, you'll never experience that until you do that. Yes. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have noon prayer. We pray because we, 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 we are bringing about changes in this earth, in the different areas that we pray for. Mm -hmm. There are changes that's happening in our society, our city. There are changes that's happening in our nation. Listen, some of these changes I do not understand with my natural mind. But that's why he said in the word, he said, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own naga. Your own understanding, your right. own intellect. Mm -hmm. You don't know everything. 
I don't care how smart you may be. We don't. <laughs> but there's God is working in our society. He's working in our country. Yes, yes. And he's working all. I'm talking about those who are walking in righteousness. There's some who are walking in the flesh. There's some who are carnal minded. And the unfortunate things, the only unfortunate thing is that all things are not going to work out for their good. You say, but God loves them. What about the grace of God? God's grace is based upon your obedience. Yes, it's freely given to you, yes. but you still have to obey. The children of Israel were giving God's grace when he gave them the commandments. But it was required for them to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing today because yes. you're born again. You just can't live any way you want to live, mm -hmm. think the any way you want to think, and act any way you want to act. You're going to have to obey the word of God. You're going to be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Mm -hmm. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, takes up residence in you, have a constant stable existence in you, then you can ask whatever you will and it will be done unto you. Mm -hmm. Now you saw that in the Bible. How are you going to change the Bible and do things the way you want to think, do? Because you get one word of scripture to say, well, you know, God understands. He loves us. And, and, and 1 John 1, 9 says if we confess our sins, yeah, he does. We can confess our sins if you miss it and you miss it and you say, I, I miss it and I'm sorry. Forgive me. And now I'm changing and I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm repenting. I'm making the hundred and 180 degree turn mm -hmm. right yeah 360 180 yeah okay I got my my, my subtraction right <laughs> oh are you blessed are you ready to pray Thank you, Jesus. I, I have so much here but I can only do so much in this time because I want us to pray I want you to pray you're at home now I love coming together unitedly in a physical building but right now praise God what we have it now with mm -hmm. this 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 demonic of COVID-19, but that's okay. We need to learn how to pray when we're at home. Nobody else is there. Discipline on ourselves for the time of pray. So thank you for tuning in at 12 o'clock. Because when you set yourself at 12 o'clock every Saturday, then you develop a habit that you know that you're going to prayer. Amen? Amen. 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 One, day, one day I'm going to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I ain't prophesying my dad, but I'm just saying, I'm just a messenger of God. But my job is to teach you. So you younger folks and stuff, when I'm gone, you have developed a habit about prayer and you can carry it on in your life right. until Jesus comes, mm -hmm. praise God, because he may not come back in my time. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm looking at some things happening now, boy, this show, I'm telling you, ooh, let me get back into the subject. Right. So listen, we're going to go to pray. Okay. Remember Romans 8, 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be articulated with our ordinary language. In other words, if you pray in Spanish, then he's going to pray something other than your Spanish language. If you pray in Portuguese, if you pray in English, if you pray in, in Chinese or Japanese or Korean, he will pray through you with in, uh, 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 inarticulate, inarticulate speech or words. In other words, you will have a heavenly language. And that's why the Bible said that he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God, right. for how be it no man understandeth him. And you are man. So when you're praying in tongues, you're not going to understand yourself because you are man. Now you can pray that God would give you interpretation what you pray in tongues, and he may give you the interpretation, but he may not. But you can rest assured. Romans 8, 27 says, And the, likewise the Spirit also helpeth up infirmities, for we know not what we should pray, pray for as we are, but the Spirit himself maketh the intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that knoweth the mind of the Spirit, verse 27, He that knoweth the mind of the Spirit maketh intercession for the saints. You are a saint. Mm -hmm. You are not a sinner saved by grace. You are a saint. Yes. He said he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. This is the will of God. He will pray in accordance to God's word for you without you knowing it. But you have to yield to him by praying in the spirit, praying in other tongues. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pray in other tongues. And folks that watch this program, I've heard them, and some of them not filled with the Holy Spirit, and they don't know what we're doing when we start praying in tongues. And uh, they don't think, you know, lost their mind. You know, oh, yeah, we don't lost our mind. We don't got spiritual minded. That's what happened, praise God. We don't left the natural realm and went into the spiritual world, because that's where we are. We're spirits. We have souls, and we live in physical bodies. 
We are spirit. You are spirit. And we're to pray out of our spirit. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise are we ready? Amen. I am to praise the Lord. Give me the hand of the of, of give me the hand of the one I love. Father, we just come before the throne of grace with our sisters, our brothers, our sister in laws, our brother in laws, our, our nieces and nephews, and our brothers in Christ. We come before your throne in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and we come unitedly in one mind and one accord, making our petitions known unto you. And we thank you, Father, that you hear our prayers because your eyes are over us and your ears are open unto our prayers. But your face is against those that would live wickedly and evil. Father, we rejoice and thank you that you said that whatever things that we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would give them unto us. If we ask anything in the name of Jesus Christ, you would give it to us so that our joy might be full. Oh, Father, we believe this. And we thank you yes, for it. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. We rejoice even before thank the you, manifestation. Jesus. Yes. Lord. Because we know that you're faithful. Thank you. You're Jesus. faithful to keep your promise. Yes. Lord. You watch up over thank your you, word Jesus. to perform it, Heavenly Father. Yes. And so yes. we come boldly to the throne of grace. Uh, and not in our own you. righteousness, but in the righteousness uh, of the Lord Jesus you, Christ, Jesus. who you made to be sin for yes, us, who knew Lord. no sin. Oh, blessed Father, yes. we thank you today. Yes. We thank you that you have heard our supplications uh, in days oh, gone past, yes, weeks yes, gone yes. past, months gone thank past. You, and we rejoice and thank you yes. because we yes. believe that they, are, they, they you, have Jesus. been answered yes. according to the will yes, of God. Lord. Thank We're you, not Jesus. believing according to the ma the circumstances yes. of what we yes. see, yes. but we believe that we received them because yes. we prayed according yes, to your Lord will. Jesus. And you Thank said you, if Jesus. we ask anything according to your will, that yes. you hear us. Yes. And if we know that you hear us, yes. we know that we yes. have. So the Thank moment Jesus. that we pray and the moment that we believe we Thank receive you, when we pray Thank is the moment that we have them. We Thank believe you, we have Jesus. them according to your word. Yes. Now the manifestation is up to you, Father, and we are fully persuaded mm -hmm. that what you promised, you, you're Jesus. willing and you're able you, also Jesus. to perform. Thank you're you, willing Jesus. and able also to bring to pass. Yes, you Lord. bring to pass yes, the thank prayer you, request that we've asked you of. Thank and we you, thank you. We believe thank that you, we have Jesus. it now. Yes, we Lord. thank you for it now. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the thank salvation you, of our loved ones. Yes. We thank you yes. for the deliverance of our loved ones. Yes. We thank yes. you for answer prayer for yes. our physical body. Thank you, Jesus. For sickness and disease thank you, and Jesus. Of all type of, of things that Satan thank will you, throw up on our body. We yes, thank Lord. you because thank we you, believe Jesus. that we are healed yes. according to yes, your word. Not according Jesus. to what we feel, Thank not according Jesus. to what the doctors say Thank or the uh, uh, um x-rays or thank MRI you, says but thank according you, to your word yes, we Lord. thank you and we believe that thank we you, are Jesus. healed we yes, thank Lord. you that you have heard yes, our Lord. prayers you have heard our thank supplications you, and you thank have granted you, us the petitions that we ask of you thank you Jesus. oh yes we thank you father yes, because Lord. we walk thank by you, sight Jesus. of a better kind yes Lord. we Jesus. walk by the spirit not by thank the flesh you, Jesus. we yes, look Lord. not at the things which are thank perceived you, by our physical thank senses Jesus. father but we look yes, at the things Lord. which are not yes, perceived Lord. by our Thank physical you, senses. Yes, and we Lord. look at them by looking to your word. You, your word yes, is Lord. the substance of what yes. we hope and wish and desire yes, for. Lord. And your word is the yes. proof, the evidence. Yes. Oh yes. yes, your word is the validity you, of that which we cannot perceive yes. by yes. our physical senses. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, thank Father, you, that you've instructed us in the thank word. You, that we're to walk thank by you, faith Jesus. and not by sight. That we're to walk by your word and not by our senses. For Thank the senses Jesus. will deceive us. Yes, Lord. The senses are of the Thank flesh. The senses yes, are of this world. Thank you, Jesus. Now we know that we need Thank them when you, we Jesus. operate in the world, yes, but when Lord. we operate in the kingdom. Thank when we Jesus. operate in the realm of the spirit, yes, we're to yes. walk by faith. Yes. We're to walk by the word. Yes. And your word becomes the thank truth you, Jesus. that we believe. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for hearing thank our prayers. Thank, thank you, you for granting us the petitions that we ask yes. of you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, you, Father, thank for you, the healings Jesus. of our loved ones. Yes. Thank you for the yes. deliverance of our loved ones. Yes. Thank you for supplying thank all of Lord. our needs according thank to your Jesus. riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you for moving upon the heart of yes, those Lord. who are in leadership yes, positions Lord. in our, our cities, you, in our state, in our country. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Father, Thank that you, you have heard our Thank prayers. You, Thank you that you have granted us the petitions you, that we 
ask of you, Father. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. We rejoice and yes. thank you, Father, yes. for every yes. good and perfect gift thank that you, comes Jesus. from you, our Father yes, above. Lord. Yes, Lord. And there's no verb and there's thank no you, shadow Jesus. of returning. Yes, Lord. You don't give and then take it back. Uh, we thank you, Father, that you give yes. us all things freely yes. because you have freely yes. given us of your Son. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, we thank yes, you so Lord. much. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Yes, Glory Jesus. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all things Thank that you, pertains Jesus. to life and godliness, yes, Father. Yes. Thank you right now Thank in the Jesus. name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you right now Thank in the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Oh, yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I know. I know that you hear me when I pray. I know that you hear us when we pray. Ah, se que le brotoriana, ne jebelicaro, frevedos, rabeda. Oh, yes, Lord. Father. Thank, Thank you. you Jesus. Thank you for the exceeding you, great Jesus. and precious promises yes, of your Lord. word. Yes, Lord. That by these we Thank become you, partakers of your divine yes, nature. Yes, for Lord. we have escaped the corruption you, that's Jesus. in this world Thank you, through the Jesus. lust of the flesh and the pride Thank of life. You, Father. Oh, Father, Thank you, we rejoice and thank you yes, yes. that we have been translated Thank into you, the Jesus. kingdom of your dear son. Yes. And that we're in the kingdom Thank now. Jesus. Thank that you, we're Lord. in the kingdom of your dear son. And everything that is good, everything that is perfect yes, is in yes. the kingdom Thank and father Jesus. we receive by faith you, in Jesus. the kingdom we yes. use the currency of faith yes. to receive yes. from the kingdom you, whatever it belongs to us Thank we you, thank Jesus. you for the divine exchange. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. From the spirit to the thank natural. You, Jesus. Thank from the you, spirit Jesus. to the natural. Thank you, Father. Changing the circumstances yes, in this Jesus. present world. Thank you, Jesus. In this present world. Yes, Lord. Because we know that the thank world you, is Jesus. passing away. Yes, Lord. All things shall be thank changed. You, Jesus. All yes, things Lord. shall be changed. Yes. But in the yes, meantime, yes. Father, yes. you said thank you, Jesus. to occupy till you thank come. You, Jesus. Oh, you said thank to have dominion. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, and so yes. we exercise yes. our dominion. We exercise yes, our authority through yes, prayer. Lord. Thank oh, you, we Jesus. thank you right now. Thank you, In Jesus. the name of Jesus, name of that Jesus. you hear and answer our prayers, yes. our supplications, yes. our intercessions, thank you, our giving of thanks. Yes, oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For we are not those, we are not like those who have no hope. Thank you, But we have hope, Father, and our hope is in you. Our hope and confidence, expectation is in you and your word. And your word, Father, thank you for sending your word to heal and delivering for destruction. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Yes. 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 Pray, pray, Thank pray, you, pray without ceasing. Yes, Lord. Pray Jesus. without ceasing. Thank you, oh, yes. Jesus. Yes, ah, Lord. for this is the refreshing Thank that you, He Jesus. calls the weary to rest yes. Yes. with stammering lips in another tongue. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fravero kuri sanya leto bara se menyore kela bara kando rosa deya ne jemenore sikaro for he that speaketh an unknown tongue edifies builds himself up ah yes father thank you thank you thank you for sele botanios for jela corondo sabeta samecho sabara kerayano 
Ah, yes. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, Father, whom you sent into this earth to lead and guide us into the truth, that he will help us to pray for the things that we know not what we should pray for as we are, that he gives us utterance, that he gives us divine languages to speak in another tongue. Sayora Aramaso. Would you understand, Father? Would you understand? Father, yes, yes. Ah, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. for we'll not be those who draw back, we'll not draw back unto petition, we'll not draw back into unbelief. But Father, we are those who walk by faith and not by sight. And we walk yes, by Lord. the word yes, and not Lord. by the senses, Father. We thank you right thank you, now. Jesus. Ah, thank yes, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabaka. Oh, Rabaka. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, La prevechi kaloron seperiana. Nege menore sicaro. Father, fill them with the knowledge yes, of your Lord. will yes, in Lord. wisdom and spiritual yes, understanding. Yes, yes. Father, open up the eyes Thank of their Jesus. inward man. Yes, Cause Lord. them to come to know Thank what is Jesus. the breadth and length Thank and depth and height of your love. Yes, Lord. Father, may they be filled with Thank the fullness Jesus. of you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for doing it because Thank it's you, according Jesus. to your will that yes. we ask. Yes, yes, we yes, ask yes. according to your will, your Father, will, Father, that God. they be strengthened with all might by your Holy Spirit. That they may be strengthened with all might. Yes, Lord. Yes, that they may be filled with all Thank joy you, and Jesus. peace in believing. Yes. So yes. that they will abound in hope by the power you, of Jesus. the Spirit of God that resides you, upon the inside of them. Father, yes, we yes. ask you to do this Thank in the Jesus. name of Thank Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We ask you Thank to do you it Jesus. in the name Thank you, of the Lord Jesus Christ. In your name, Father. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Mm. Thank you for doing it. Ah, yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Our joy is full. Thank you, Our joy is full. Thank you, Father. Our joy is full, Father. For you have granted us the petitions that we ask of you. Thank you, Father. For we've asked you in the name of Jesus. And we know that you have heard us. And we know Thank that you, you have granted us the petitions you, that we ask of you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're fully persuaded Thank you, that what you have promised, you're yes. willing and yes. able also to perform. Thank you, Jesus. No word of yes. yours returns yes. to you, boy. Thank you, Father. But it accomplishes what you please. Yes. It yes. prospers in the yes. thing, Father, Thank where you, you sent it. Thank you, yes. Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. Ah, yes. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank
yes, and yes, that they yes, will come yes. into the knowledge of the truth. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank you today thank you, Jesus. for drawing them into the services, yes, Lord. Yes, drawing Lord. them into the churches yes. where the word is being taught, yes, Lord. where yes, the word Lord. is being preached, yes, so Lord. that they can be established uh, in the word, uh, established yes, in the faith, yes, so Lord. that they will no longer be yes, children tossed yes, to and yes, fro yes, by yes, every yes. wind of doctrine you, and by the cunning craftiness yes, of Lord. men and yes, women Lord. who Thank lie in wait to deceive them uh, and uh, lead uh, them uh, astray. Uh, Father, we ask you to do this yes, Lord. in the yes, name Lord. of the Lord Jesus yes, Christ, Lord Jesus. and we Thank, thank you for doing it. Thank, Thank you for Jesus. giving to the pastors yes. utterance and the Holy Spirit yes. so that yes. as they open their mouths, they may yes. speak boldly as they yes, ought Lord. to speak. Thank you, Father, Jesus. may yes, great Lord. grace be bestowed yeah. upon them so that they will not cast away their confidence, which has great recompense of reward. That they may not be weary in well doing. Yes, Lord Father, Jesus. that they may be not become weary in well yes, doing, Lord, regardless of the present Ooh, circumstances yes, that are now yes, existing, yes. because it's only temporal. Ooh, it's only Ooh, temporal, Ooh, Father. Yes, for the gates of hell cannot, shall not prevail yes, against yes, the church of yes, the Lord Jesus in Christ. The name of Jesus. Father, thank you for I doing it. Because we ask okay. that which is according to yes, your will. Yes, yes. And therefore we know that you thank hear us. You, Jesus. We Ask in the name yes. of Jesus in Christ of Jesus. that you would do this. Yes, Lord. And we thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you, sir. Thank you, We Jesus. thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Ah, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fravero Kurisanya non e nella pulse benia maracale veriaro, rotta la mesoto, e gemenore sicada, sebredelo, sebredelo, sebredelo kurisanya banana, curenda, ariaro, thank you, Jesus. Fraveri chiaros, yes, yes, Father, we thank you. We lift up holy hands without doubt, without wrath. Yes, yes. We rejoice and thank you. Thank you, That you are the most high God and the possessor of the heavens. Lord. in the earth Thank you, Jesus. and the seas and all Thank that dwells you, therein and yes, there is no other God but you yes, righteous yes, and holy yes, and yes. just and true thank you, we Jesus. thank you Father oh, that your Rebecca, eyes are Rebecca, over Rebecca, us Rebecca, the Rebecca. righteous Yes, and your ears yes. are open unto our prayers, thank you, Jesus. our supplications, yes. our intercessions. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for granting us ah, the petitions that we ask of you because we ask yes. according to your will. Yes, yes. Thank you, Father, thank you, for hearing our prayers, yes. our supplications, thank you, Jesus. our intercessions. Yes, Lord. Granting us the petitions that yes. we ask of you. Thank you, Father. We rejoice in advance. Yes, we Lord count Jesus. it all joy. Yes. We thank you, Father, thank for the different Jesus. tests and trials that we're now yes. facing. Yes, Lord. We know that it's a trying of our thank faith, you, Jesus. but we allow the trying yes. of our faith to yes. work patience, yes. endurance, yes. steadfastness, and yes. perseverance. Thank you, Jesus. We refuse to cast away Lord, our confidence, Lord, Lord, which has great recompense and reward. For we thank know that Jesus. we have need of patience, you, steadfastness, perseverance. You, that after we've acted on the word of God, we will receive the promise. We will receive the exceeding great and precious yes. promises of yes. your word yes. manifested in thank this you, life. Yes, in this Lord. time. This life. Oh yes, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 we know, Father. Thank you, We Father. know that you know we have what we have need of before Jesus. we ask you. Yes, Lord. But you require for us to yes. ask. Yes, yes, We yes, thank yes. you thank because you, we're labors together with yes. you. Yes, hallelujah. We rejoice and thank <laughs> you, Father. Hallelujah. For you delight in giving to oh, us, your children, Rabbi that which we have need of. You delight in giving us for you have delivered up your own son for us all and we thank you that with, we, with him you also freely give us all things to enjoy thank you father thank you for delivering up your son for us all and we thank you that you with him freely give us all things yes praise god thank you father oh thank you father thank you father yes thank you father 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 for freely giving us all things to enjoy yes yes through your son 
Yes. In his name. Thank you, Father. For we've asked in yes. that name. In the name we've of asked Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. And you have granted us the petitions yes. that we ask of yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We love you so much, Lord. <laughs> we love you, Father. Yes. Yes. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Holy Spirit. Yes. We love you, Father. Thank you, We Jesus. lift up holy hands yes. without wrath and without yes. doubting. Thank you, and Jesus. we praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you that you are our Father God. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Most High God, oh, Rabbi, the possessor Rabbi, of the heavens Rabbi, and the earth Rabbi, and the Rabbi, seas Rabbi, and all that dwells therein. Ah, and there is no other God but you, righteous and just yes, and true. Yes. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Father. We, we love, love you, Jesus. You, Jesus. We love you, Father. Yes, we yes, praise yes. you, Father. Thank you, We Jesus. thank you, Father. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Glory Jesus. God. Glory to God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures yes, forever. Yes, yes, yes. Praise ye the Thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Lord. ye the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. Isn't the yes, Lord good? He is good. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mercy thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Kelly Brosta Lavasha. Thank you. My, 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 my. Thank you, Jesus. This is what it's like to dwell in the secret place of the Most Thank High. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and to you, abide up under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm telling Thank you, my you, brothers and sisters. Draw Thank nigh Lord. unto God, Thank and He'll Jesus. draw nigh unto you. Thank you, Father. That presence that you now are sensing in your spirit. Yes, yes it's affecting yes. your physical body, yes. some of you. But it's your spirit, man, mm -hmm. that's so alive. Yes. Because you have went into the very presence of Thank your you, Heavenly Jesus. Father. Yes, you see, that's what you do it. You do it through Thank prayer. You, you do it by faith. Yes. And that's what we did. Thank you, and Doing Jesus. it by faith means to do it by the word. Yes. When you pray yes. according to the word, you enter into the Thank secret you, place Jesus. of the Most High. Thank you, Jesus. And you abide, you dwell in. We Thank just you, came Jesus. from the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank God for His thank you, for His word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for answer prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Well, glory be to God. We've come thank to the Lord. end of our prayer you, broadcast, but that doesn't mean you need to stop thank praying. You, Jesus. You're at home. Thank you can Jesus. pray. Go into your Thank prayer you, calls. Jesus. Don't let nobody stop you. Still feel Thank that you, need Jesus. to pray. Thank you, Go Jesus. ahead and pray. Pray it out. You don't Thank have to you, stop Jesus. right now. Hallelujah. Pray as the Spirit of God leads you. Thank pray you, in Jesus. tongues. Uh, pray in yes, tongues Lord because Jesus. then you'll pray out those divine Thank secrets you, that may be pertaining to your life, your Thank loved ones, you, your son, your daughter. You yes, don't know Lord. what it may be yes. that the Spirit of God wants you to pray for. Thank you, Remember Jesus. to pray for us, Pastor Pat and Pastor Rodney Thank Hammer, you, Jesus. Uh, members of a body of faith Christian Center. Pray for your pastors, those who are members Thank of other church. Jesus. Pray for your pastors. Yes. Pray in the Spirit. Pray that great grace may be bestowed upon them. Pray that God would give them utterance. Pray for all yes. doors of utterance may be open unto them. That Thank is you, an opportunity Jesus. to go and minister the word what he wants them to go minister to. Mm -hmm. Members of Body Faith Christian, you, pray Jesus. for us so that doors of utterance will also be made for us because the message that we have is not only for you, but they're for others. If God wants us to go out. These doors must be open yes. for us, praise God. Yes. But your prayers will open up those doors Thank and you, we'll Jesus. walk in them. Thank you, well, Jesus. remember tomorrow morning we have the 10 o'clock uh, Sunday Bible class by none other than Pastor Patricia Hamer uh, teaching on the grace of God, the power of the gospel in Lesson 10. Uh, those of you that are observing the uh, uh, broadcast on Sunday that are not members of Body Faith Christian Center, if you want to get the book that we're studying out of, it's a book that was written, a, a Bible study course by Andrew Womack. Uh, you can contact Pastor Pat by calling the number and uh, she can get the book ordered for you. It's going to cost you some money, so she'll talk they about the... They can go on and order or you can go, Yeah, you can yes. go and order yourself at Andrew Womack's um, uh, website, okay? And uh, you can get the book called Grace, the Power of the Gospel. And then we have also our uh, 11.30 uh, service that will start, praise God, and uh, we'll be ministering the word and, and uh, doing whatever the Spirit of God leads us to do, praise God. So we see you tomorrow at Abiding Faith Christian Center's broadcast. We'll be broadcasting from the building there, so we'll be there physically. Of course, we know some people will be there also. All right, we love you. And um, Sunday uh, morning worship starts at 11 a.m. in the building. And then if you're going to join us on Facebook, it's at 11.30. Right. So we, we do wish and praise from 11, and then we also do tithes and offerings after we wish and praise. And then we go into the service of that praise. So we're going to tune in to the broadcast. We love you.
love you. God bless you. God bless you.